Welcome back to another episode of Country Pilgrim. And as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I like state parks and county parks and national parks. And in this episode, as we are traveling from Charleston, South Carolina, we travel up Highway 17 and we make a stop at two state parks, Huntington Beach State Park and Myrtle Beach State Park. Both are awesome additions along the South Carolina shores and great parks to come and visit. So follow along as we go to Huntington Beach State Park and Myrtle Beach State Park. We're here at Myrtle Beach State Park. We're walking on the Myrtle Beach State Park Pier. And as you can see, there's all the sorts of fishing that's going on in the ocean. The scenery is beautiful. You can see Myrtle Beach in the distance and just how vast and how big it is. And it's really cool that you can do fishing out here on this pier. And it sounds like the fishing is pretty good here and they can get all sorts of different fish. And they even have markers out on the shed here and they can mark all the different kind of fish that they have. They have cleaning stations. Of course, they have the state beach which is behind me. And so all sorts of really neat things. So a couple of fish that, that they have marked, they have black drums and sheephead, and they even have the limits as far as what they are. Needlefish, oyster toad fish, sea robins, Atlantic stingray, butterfly ray, all sorts of different fish, Spanish mackerels, moonfish. Of course, some are gonna be more rare than others to find out here at the beach, but you kind of get the whole gist of what this area provides. Catch anything yet? Oh my goodness, can I get footage of that? And we got a whiting in here. Good thing it don't hop up and bite me. <laughs> That was Myrtle Beach State Park Boardwalk. And the boardwalk kind of went through the dunes areas. It's one way to protect the dunes, which are protected here. Uh, they're fragile. They can be damaged just by walking through them. And another reason, if you ever walked on a sandy beach, you realize how hard it is to get to one point of the beach to the next point of the beach because of the sand. And so that boardwalk can increase your movement, different entryways into the state beach. We are at Huntington Beach State Park in South Carolina. Welcome to Huntington Beach State Park Marsh Boardwalk. Get a chance to see some possible gator sightings out here, storks, and other wildlife.
amazing how observant he is. Oh, we got one! Oh! Adelaide Castle. One minute. Well, we are in a historical property. This is Adelaide Castle. This is the home of the Huntingtons. And we're in Huntington State Park. They donated this land to the state of South Carolina. And of course, home of Huntington State Beach. So a lot of cool things and a lot of cool features of this castle. It gets known, you know, as this classic historical spot. So come along with me and we'll take a tour. So Adelaide is Spanish for watchtower. Archer was inspired by a tower in Morocco that historically was used to spot Barbary pirates. This watchtower here instead served as a water tower providing water pressure for the building. Pretty cool to see where he got a lot of his Spanish inspiration from. And of course we know that the castle's name means watchtower and this here is in a watchtower but this is where they got all their water. Archer Melton Huntington, one of his greatest interests in life was the study of Hispanic culture, the people, language, history, literature, and architecture. Adelaide was designed from Archer's familiarity with more style castles. He visited in Spain and elsewhere. So he got a lot of his inspiration from places he visited in Spain. So Anna Haya Huntington, who was she? And growing up, she was influenced by her sister Harriet's sculpture talent, her father's career in, in zoology, and life on the family farm. So Archer, he was six feet five inches. His custom-built shower stall had seven shower heads. So let's go count this here. Adelaide Indoor Studio. This is where she did a lot of her sculpture work. You can see it's just ginormous. Huge fireplace over here. And of course the room comes out in this area here. And this is the outdoor studio. So this place here is where she would do a lot of her work outside. And it's very interesting that she preferred natural sunlight to do her sculptures. And you can see where Anna like the natural light. So she had a natural skylight, which is built right above us here. And looking around, you can see that there's plenty of light in both windows on both sides of the room. Let's move through the castle. But as you travel down here, you can kind of see what it would have been like living in the servant quarters. This would have been the ice box. So back in the day, they actually had an ice box. Here it was. So the walk-in icebox had a door which opened to the outside, a block and tackle was mounted outside the window to haul in. Are you ready for this? 300 pound blocks of ice which were brought from Georgetown. Back in the kitchen area, you can kind of see where they had the setup here. The kitchen had two coal burning stoves, a gas powered refrigerator, a large icebox which we just walked into. Um, there was a large hooded grill, here meals were prepared not just for the Huntington's but also for their large staff as well. And so you can kind of see walking into this, 
this is exactly where they would have served the food and the food could have been brought out. You can imagine what this would have looked like when the view wasn't unimpeded by these trees behind me here. And you could look out here and you can see that a really cool brick deck and patio area. It kind of went out and would have looked out. Thanks for following along with this video of Myrtle Beach State Park and Huntington Beach State Park. I appreciate the positive comments and likes. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing.